Well, hello. Welcome to story time. Heho imot tat gwenome. It is good to see you. My name is Sonia and I'm the Children's Services Coordinator at the Powell River Public Library on Tla'aman territory. Chechahatech Tatkwal Adin Thauk. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Did you catch what I was doing at the beginning there? I was making, what is this shape? A heart. That's right, because today's stories are all about love and friendship and, well, how we show our love and friendship to others, to people, and to family, and even to pets. And so I thought I would start with a poem from a book called Friends and Foes. Foes, that's the opposite of friends. Poems About Us All by Douglas Florian. Because, well, have you ever asked yourself the question, what is a friend? Hmm, I will start with that. What friends are for? For sharing, for caring, for giving, for giving. There's for giving, that's giving things, but for giving, for saying, it's okay, I forgive you. For walking, for talking, for waiting, relating. For pleasing, for teasing, for finding, for reminding. For lending, for mending, for treating you fair. But what matters most? For just being there. Friends are there for us. So are the people we love. Sometimes friends and the people we love are the same thing. So I am going to start with a story called The Longest Let's Go Boy. And it is by Derek Wilder with illustrations by Katya Chen. Sometimes they say love lasts forever, even after the people we love are gone. The love stays, and this is that kind of story. So it's a little bit sad, but it's also quite happy. The longest let's go, boy. And this is published by Chronicle Books. Mew Mew wakes me, rumble rum drumming my tummy. I stretch my old bones. Wait, I'll tell you something. This is dog voice. See, and what do you think rumble drumming is? And what is Mew Mew? Mew Mew's a kitten. See, there's the kitten. And rumble drumming. I think that's a kitten purr. Rumble drumming my tummy. I stretch my old bones. Fireball floats across bright blue, playing hide and seek with puffers. Swirlies ruffle the fur on my upside down. Fireball the sun. <gasps> sniff, sniff. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here comes little, my forever friend. She gives me happy face. I wiggle wag. We shake and little holds out a tasty treat, letting me know I'm a good dog. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Little calls out, let's go, boy. Her paws crunch, crunch across diggy dirt and way backs fill my head. I am an oh, a puppy again. Run jumping and tail chasing, yip yapping constantly at branch jumpers, leg lifting endlessly on tall sticks. Standing under those same tall sticks now, little still looks tiny, there's little. I want to run jump to her, but I am dog tired. I must slow step. She waits, then we disappear into big wild. Big wild, ooh, maybe the forest. 
I woof woof farewell to tweeters, branch jumpers, and fuzz hoppers. Then head down to tall sticks, colorfuls and leafies, never letting little stray too far. I hear tweeters tender replies in my one good listener, feel tall sticks gentle trembles through diggy dirt. They tell me that little will always be welcome, will always be safe. We reach a bend in Gurgle Burble where hornheads and striped tails often visit and sip slurp cool sweetness. We stop at Smooth Stump, then sit, stay, be. There they are, they made it to Smooth Stump and they're looking out together. When shadows stretch out, it is time to go. Little gives me her tightest love squeeze. I give her my wettest nose nuzzle. I wait until Little is inside, then slow step to the far corner of Soft Green. Soft Green, probably the grass. I circle once, twice, then settle. Mew Mew's rough tongue tickles my cheek. She shares soothing rumble drums, letting me know I'm a good dog. Oh yes, I am. Among peaceful tweeter tunes, a distant let's go boy drifts down from puffers. I think puffers are clouds. I take one last look at little. She will be okay and I am ready. I close my eyes. I'm going to get the sniff sniffers in this, in this story. Oh! And feel the flutter of beautifuls lifting me above tall sticks. <laughs> My old bones feel new. Look at he's leaping now. I can run jump again. Little gathers with her pack of two paws. I miss them. Dew drops on their cheeks say they miss me too. They're sad they're saying goodbye to their old dog. Tall sticks lose their fur. Then cold white covers big wild in a cozy blanket. More light darks pass and cold white disappears. I think these are their seasons. Look at tall sticks lose their fur. That's the trees losing their leaves. And cold white covers the big wild. I think that's snow. And light dark passes. Well, the light days and the dark days of winter. And the cold white disappears. Countless colorfuls show their faces and new tweeter tunes bring joy to my listeners, my ears. Sniff, sniff, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There goes Little. She's on a let's go boy when branch jumpers start scattering and tall sticks begin grumbling. And then I see him. There, yip yapping constantly and leg lifting endlessly. It's an aw oh, puppy. Little gives him a love squeeze. He gives her a slobber kiss. Then he's off, run jumping and tail chasing. Little gazes up at bright blue. She gives me a happy face. Oh, I wiggle wag. She is my forever friend. You see? There's the big let's go boy. There he is. Mm. The end. Wow. 
I have a song to go with that. There were, there were tweeters. Did you figure out what those were, the tweeters? Birds, little birds. And there is a little in that story. So I thought I'd sing The Littlest Birds, part of it by the Be Good Tanyas. And there's a chorus and it goes, the Littlest birds sing the prettiest songs. You could sing that with me if you'd like. Well, I love you so dearly, I love you so clearly, I wake you up in the morning so early just to tell you I've got the wandering blues, I've got the wandering blues, and I'm gonna quit these rambling ways one of these days soon, and I'll sing. Llewellyn was a collector. He collected things in jars. Look, he collected some leaves there. When he held a jar and peered inside, Llewellyn remembered all the wonderful things he had seen and done. He collected small, ordinary things like buttercups feathers, and heart-shaped stones. One night, the sunset painted the sky the color of tart cherry syrup. Llewellyn ventured down to the shore with as many jars as he could carry. A little girl named Evelyn was there too. Llewellyn scooped that cherry light into his jars. And when he was done, he gave one to Evelyn. Evelyn took the jar home and to her surprise, it glowed through the night with the memory of that sunset. From then on, Llewellyn and Evelyn collected things together. They collected things hard to hold like rainbows the sound of the ocean, and the wind just before snow falls. They collected things you might not think would even fit in a jar. They did, somehow. What did they get there? Maybe a flock of birds. They collected the wonders of winter. Ooh, I'll put that closer. Look at, there's lots of wonders of winter on that page. The newness of spring. Ooh, lightning and thunder and foxes and babies and tadpoles and cherry blossoms and snails. And the long days and shadows of summer. Oh, 
Over time, their jars filled the walls of Llewellyn's house. But one day, Evelyn had sad news. Her family was moving to a new town. Too soon, it was time to say goodbye. Did they give each other a hug and they're sad? With Evelyn gone, Llewellyn's heart felt like an empty jar. One night, Llewellyn lay awake. Falling stars glittered against the dark sky. He wondered if Evelyn could see them too. Llewellyn tiptoed out into the moonless night and collected the meteor shower in a jar. The next day, he prepared the package. Llewellyn, right here, <laughs> to Evelyn. Mom. When the box arrived and Evelyn opened the jar, the stars in the night sky fell around her. Evelyn knew just what to do. She collected the sounds, the crowds, and the bright night lights of her new home and sent them all to Llewellyn. <gasps> Squeak, beep, clack, hiya, peanuts, next stop, click. <laughs> all the city sounds and lights, wow. They're still, they're still sending things to each other and sharing things across a distance. That is possible. And so when the golden leaves of autumn began to fall once again, Llewellyn set out to collect jar a jar full for Evelyn. A little boy named Max was there too. Luckily, Llewellyn had brought an extra jar. The end, the end. And I will, I will read you another poem from this book. Friendship is magic. See how their friendship just filled those jars in magical ways. <gasps> this poem is called, How Do You Say Friend? In Spain, they say, amigo. The Danish word is ven. Italians say, amico. In Afrikaans, it's friend. The Maltese say, habib while French folks say, ami. The Irish word is kara, Swahili, rafiki. In different countries, friendship may have a different name, but though the spelling's different, the meaning is the same. Across all those distances, a friend is a wonderful thing in any language. So, I have a song by the Beatles. This is all together now. One, two, three, four. Can I have a little more? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now all 
together now by the Beatles. So because I read long stories today, I'm only gonna read one more story. This is called Things That Go Away and it is by Beatrice Alemania. And it's published by Abrams Books. Things that go away. But what could that have to do with love and friendship? We will see. In life, many things go away. They transform. They pass by. <gasps> Do you see that? These pages are transparent. And look at that bird just flew off that finger. Sleep always departs. <gasps> Whoop, awake. A small wound almost always vanishes, ouch, without leaving a trace, gone. Music flies away, tinkle, 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 off the piano. Soap bubbles too. One day, lice, oh, luckily, will also leave. <gasps> Phew. Dark thoughts fade. Grrr. Oh, I think he transformed them into a sculpture. He worked them out just like tears dry. Oh, 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 oh. oh, gone. There's a little bug on her lap. And the steam from a cup evaporates. Bad weather goes away. Oh, rain, rain, go away. <gasps> and so does fear. Oh, go away, nightmares. Poof, gone. Leaves fall. in the autumn time, as well as hair sometimes. Look at all that hair on her head. What? It's a mustache now. <laughs> and baby teeth, now you see them. Now you know. Dust disappears, but it always comes back. There it goes. Whew. I'll have to sweep again another day. Eventually, everything passes, moves on, or changes. But one thing never goes away and never will. What could it be? Never. What could it be? Can you guess? Never goes away? Love. Never. Especially, oh, look at that's a mama. I think that's a mama hugging her little one and that's like, oh, that's real love. That does not go away. So, I have a last lovey kind of song for you. This is Skinner Rink. Skinner Rinky Dinky Dink, Skinner Rinky Do. I love you. Skinner Rinky Dinky Dink, Skinner Rinky Do.
love you in the evening underneath the moon. So skinnamarinky-dinky-dink, skinnamarinky-doo. What is it? I love you, I think I told you. I love you just one more time now. I love you too. Boop, boop, be doo. Woo! Skinnamarink. And that brings me to the end of story time. So I'm going to end with a wave and a song. It goes like this. So long, it's been good to see you. So long, it's been good to see you. So long, it's been good to see you. I'll see you again next week for more stories. Bye.